Hey YouTubers, welcome to the E-Riders channel. Today we're going to be swapping out the stock half twist throttle for a thumb throttle. Alright, so uh, this video is mostly for the Magic Cycle Cruiser owners out there. Uh, a lot of you have bought your first e-bike ever congratulations and you've decided to, ch to pick the uh the magic cycle which which is great because you got most likely got the bike at a great price with especially with all the components that this bike offers which is like top tier so um a lot of you are like i said are new to the e-bike world and a lot of you uh have concerns like uh, like i did when i first had a an e-bike you know the half twist throttle was something that needed to, a little getting used to. I do have big hands, so when I put my hand on here, it's very it's very odd to keep support here and then just twist this a little bit. It does get in the way, and accidents do happen. So you have to be very careful. You know, especially when the bike is on and you're and you're just trying to move or maneuver the bike a little bit, and you accidentally trigger the half twist throttle. And then the bike just takes off and launches with you holding on to it, which is never a good thing because it'll drag you. So uh, I uh, have put on uh, thumb throttles on previous uh, bike builds, and I prefer that because it just adds a little layer of safety. So it's pretty much like, you know, acceleration or throttle on demand. You know, there's really hardly any accidental triggers like you would have with the half twist throttle. So if you're new to the e-bike community and you want something a little safer definitely get yourself a uh, uh, a thumb throttle it'll be a lot easier to use and it is peace of mind basically especially if you let friends or family ride your e-bike that you've never you know they've never ridden one either and it just it's something that helps them out as well not just yourself so let's get started with uh, the thumb throttle that I'm going to be using today Okay, so we're going to go to my parts drawer here. Close this up. In my parts drawer, I have uh, various grips. And actually, we will need to be changing the grips as well. So this is kind of a... You're going to get a, a few different items I'm going to be changing out. Uh, because we're going to be swapping out the half twist throttle for a thumb throttle. Now, there, here I have two. One I'll probably never use because I don't like it. Because now I, I found a brand that I prefer. I'm going to set this down here as comparison. All right, close this back up again. So here we have uh, two thumb throttles. Now, this is one with the short cord. This is one with the long cord. And you always want to make sure the, that when you, when you get these, you get the ones, the male ends, which have the three, the three pins. Okay, it's always going to be the one that you want for your bike for the easy connect. So, anyway, uh, I've put on other thumb throttles before my bikes. So when I, I've always stuck to the one brand because it's always easy to, to rebuy on e on Amazon. Well, they've been sold out for a long, 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 long time. So I decided I was going to buy some other brand, go with a different uh, a different seller. And it uh, looks like this has a, even a shorter cord. So I went with this. I just came in and I'm like, this doesn't feel right. It feels a little, feels a little weird. Um, and I, you know, my old ones, which is exactly this one, uh, is a lot smoother when you, when you uh, try to press the little lever down. It's really smooth. And you can even see, like some of the workmanship. You can see how on this one right here. It's spaced apart, you know, it just, the quality is bad. You can see right there even a little bit. So, not to mention, uh, this is a shorter cord. So not only was I not impressed with, with the brand that I, that I had bought to, to replace the ones I couldn't get anymore, uh, it has a short cord. This one has a longer cord, and the reason why... I like the longer cord is because if you do wind up, say, 
uh, getting an adjustable stem or a riser on your bike, you have more cord, you have more length to work with, you know, as your handlebars go higher. So I couldn't find this one anymore because it was always sold out from Amazon. Well, I decided to go directly to the company themselves. And again, their link is down below. They have these in stock. These aren't being sold on Amazon anymore. I'll, I'll, I'll put the link up there just in case they do replenish their stock on Amazon. But I went straight to the company that makes it because I, I really prefer these over this one. So this is not going to be used. This is going to go back in the drawer. I mean, it's, it's still, I mean, it works. Don't get me wrong. It works. I did test it. It does work. But it's just, it's sticky. It's a little, it's a little grindy. So... I'm not going to use that. I prefer this brand. Again, their link is in the description of the video. Or I'm even going to put it in the comments down below. So when we change this out, of course, we'll have to change the grips. And I have another special surprise for you. Uh, a bonus item that I'm going to be installing on the bike after the grips. So stay tuned for that. All right, so one of the first things you need to do before taking off the thumb throttle is one, well, let's make sure your bike is not on so there are no accidents while removing the throttle. Um, but we want to disconnect the throttle from the bike. So we need to find the, the, the cable, the connector, and disconnect it. So if you look underneath here, you'll see the, the cable runs right here. And this is it right here. So we have... When you're connecting these things, you see these two arrows. This is how you this is how you want to line up your connectors when you connect it back. But when taking it off, you don't want to twist these, okay? Because they are, like I said, and I showed you before, they're just little pins, and they're very very sensitive to to bending. So with this, you pretty much want to pull straight off, and you you're going to need, need, need you're going to need like two hands or two pliers. You can you can take a plier here and a plier here and kind of pull it apart if you want. But you have to be pulled, no twisting. So I'm going to set the camera down so I can use my two hands to try to pull this off. And it does take a little bit of time because it is on pretty good. It's really, really tight with, with good reason because you want a good seal. There we go. So I got it off. And so as you can see, you have your three male pins right there. And then you got the, the female down here. So we're going to take this off. And then we're going to put the thumb throttle in its place. And then we're going to plug the thumb throttle back into the female right here, the connector. All right, so taking the uh, connector off was probably the most easiest thing from this install. The hardest thing on this install would be removing the existing uh, stitched leather grips. These, uh, these are very labor intensive because it requires a lot of twisting, a lot of pulling at the same time. There really is no easy way to do this. It's, it's going to take time. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that. I'm going to show you just, you know, quick, not quick, but a little method. Just twist it while you're pulling at the same time. Just got to keep doing this. This requires a lot of work. So I got a little bit already. But this is possibly the hardest thing on this install. Everything else is really, really easy. So just work on that. It might take a, you know about five to ten minutes, but you'll get it. Just just keep working it back and forth till it slides off. All right. So after a few minutes, we were able to remove the half grip. Now, of course, the other side, the other grip will be a little longer because it is a bigger grip. So we got this off. Now we want to unscrew this because this right on this side here is the clamp that clamps down on the on the actual bar that screws on the other side. I'll show you where that's at. All right, so on the other side of your handlebar, that is the uh, screw that's holding in the half twist throttle. So you want to get in there and just remove that. Just to loosen it so it'll slide right off. It's already moving, so you can see a. It'll probably just slide right on off. But before we remove this, we need to remove the uh, the cable keeper or cable tie that's holding the uh, the cable that we disconnected. So we gotta remove. Actually, no, we can keep that on. I'm sorry, this one up here. <laughs> 
because uh, we're this is the one that's tied to the uh, the uh, half twist throttle. So we'll remove this. And this is actually pretty easy. So I'll show you what that's like. And really, it's it's just uh, there's no reason to cut these off or anything like that. Definitely keep them, but you just remove it by basically untwisting it. And then you can put them on the same way, just in reverse. All right. So that's what that's what that looks like. Definitely save these. These are really cool. They come in handy. So we have our loose wire. So now we could slide off the twist throttle. All right. So this should come off just like this. Now there will be a, a sleeve right here. So make sure you don't lose that. This right here just uh, helps the throttle turn while it's on the bar. So keep this together with your twist throttle in case you ever want to reinstall it later. All right, so we take our thumb throttle, our new thumb throttle that we're installing, and we want to make sure that the grooves are on the, you know, on the thumb side is facing toward you, toward the bike seat, and not away. So we'll slip this on, put this back here, now, we're not going to quite tighten this just yet because we're going to be putting on a new grip. So, uh, the grip might actually give you more room to slide these over. We're not quite sure yet. We'll put the grip on first. So, we won't tighten this, but we will maybe go ahead and feed this through to the, uh, the cords and uh, use that uh, cord keeper and just get everything ready and set after we put the grip on we'll plug everything in okay so let's see which grips i want to use um i think i'm going to go with these right here and these have clamps on each end so they will stay put on the bars and i'll explain why i prefer clamps uh, in a second all right so here's the uh the grip I'm going to be putting on, like I said, with the clamps. And the reason why I prefer these with clamps on each end is because the, the stock grips that they give you, um, while they feel really good, I mean, the, the, this is pretty much the standard in most e-bikes out there is, are these stitched leather, you know, leather style uh, grips. They tend to turn or twist on the handlebars over time because you put you put your weight on this little palm rest right here and it tends to tilt it downward a lot so to prevent that twisting on the handlebars I go with you know the grips that you have clamps on so we'll go ahead and put that on now I went ahead and I and I loosened the uh, the brake lever and also the shifter uh, I just, you know, loosen their, their screws that way they can, you know, they can move, you know, until we get this all, you know, pretty much straightened out, you know, the way I, the way I want it fitted just right. So <clears throat> basically I just, I'll see which, what kind of room I'm working with and I'll tighten everything down. And of course you want to make sure that you're flush on the end right here, you know, you want to make sure that the clamp that you tighten down is getting enough of the handlebar. Because if you're out here, the handlebar is so far inside, you're, you're not clamping down on it. So you want to make sure that your grip is just flush with the end so that the clamp can clamp down on it. So right there is right where I need it. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up.
All right, so our grip is tightened, so this definitely will not twist on me anymore. So it'll stay put and provide the, the level of support on my palm uh, the best, so it won't be shifting on me. And now I will go ahead and move everything as close to the grip, move everything this way, make sure everything's nice and tight and, and secure. And uh, for the brake lever, you're gonna have a, just a little bit bigger Allen wrench than what you'd be using for the, uh, the thumb throttle. I'm not quite sure why I want the thumb throttle just yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit on the bike to, to, to see where the placement is gonna be best. But I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the caliper, right? Not the caliper, but the lever, brake lever right here, because I kinda already know where I want that just by looking at it. All right, so we got the brake lever tightened. One more thing to tighten is the shifter, which is right up here. And that's just a basic Phillips screwdriver. And that screw is right underneath it. Again, make sure it's all pressed up against the, the grip. All right. Now we're all tightened up, up here. We're all good. Now I'm going to adjust this just the way I want it. So let's go around to the other side. All right, so this, I'm gonna say, feels good right about there. Full full throttles, stops right there. So I'm gonna say this is, this is good right here. So I'm gonna tighten up right there. All right, perfect. So here we go. That's the uh, stops right where I want it to stop. Feels comfortable. No accidental discharges from pressing the half twist throttle because it doesn't exist anymore. We now have a installed thumb throttle, but we need to hook up the wire, the connector back, and then we're going to turn the bike on, and then we're going to test it. Okay, so as you can see, I, I went ahead and put that cable keeper right back on there. And we do have a little extra slack. Like I said, I, I do like this thumb throttle because it gives you extra slack. So I just kind of, you know, rolled the, the cable a little bit there. Um, that way it's not too much cable in the way. But just in case you ever wanted to raise the handlebars or get an adjustable stem, it's always good to have a little bit, a little bit of extra cable. So remember, when connecting these, you want the arrows, which is, I'm going to show you right, right where it's at. If I could focus on it, you have the arrow right here, right there, and the arrow right there that you want to, it's having a hard time focusing because it doesn't know to focus on my hand or the, the connector. But they're pretty easy to put on. And remember, it's a push, it's not a twist. And there you go, it's in. Now we're gonna turn the bike on and we're gonna lean it over to the side on the kickstand and uh, give it a little test on the, the throttle. All right, we're gonna turn the bike on, button on the top, there we go. It's on. I'm gonna lean the bike back on the kickstand like this, that way the tire is off the ground. And then I'm gonna hit the, uh, the thumb throttle. I just gotta move the camera to my other arm here. And then we're going to do this. And there we go.
we got a thumb throttle. All right, so that is our thumb throttle installed along with the grip. And you may have noticed there's one more item that I added, and that was the little tease I was giving you early on in the video. The one item I wanted to tell you about. These on each end of the handlebars are turning signals. You just hit the toggle button and you get your flashing turning signal. What's great about these, obviously you can be seen from behind, which is nothing new because a lot of people buy signals that go behind under the seat or that go under the rack. But these, you can also be seen in the front, not just the rear. So lights are right there in the front and also the back. You just hit the button again to turn it off. But this also has another feature. Press and hold for four seconds. You have a rear red light and a front white light. Now these aren't bright enough to, to light your, your path or anything like that, but they do help with being seen at night. So the red light adds to your tail light that would, be, that would be on as well. And if you still wanted to turn, even while these were on, that's fine. You just hit the, the same button and it turns off the red and white light and puts on the yellow turning amber light. You just turn it off when you're done turning. Back to red and white. Press and hold for four seconds. Turns them off. This is a great product. Again, links to everything from the thumb throttle, grips, and these, these are wing lights, turning signal wing lights by a company called Cycle. Get yourself one or a set of these. They come in multiple models in different colors. So also uh, for the Magic Cycle, um, some of you are maybe still on the fence on getting yourself a Magic Cycle Cruiser, uh, and that's fine. But I will let you know that if the price is an issue, if the if the fifteen ninety nine price on their website is an issue, I do have a two hundred dollar off coupon, which would make the Magic Cycle one thousand three hundred ninety nine dollars. So two hundred dollars off. Coupon code is down below, and that is E-Rider. That's the, that's the coupon code, E-Rider. And there's an affiliate link also down below. So use the affiliate link and then use the coupon code. Get $200 off your Magic Cycle Cruiser. Again, don't delay. Christmas is coming. If you want to get a bike before Christmas, especially you know with the conditions with the, uh, all the shipping containers, if you want to get a, a you know a bike before Christmas, you know you should probably think about ordering now instead of waiting you know in the month of December or month of November because now uh, is the time to really get something most likely hopefully before Christmas. All right, so again check check out those links down below. Check out the Magic Cycles uh, YouTube page. Check out Magic Cycles uh, Facebook uh, group page as well. Uh, a wealth of information and a lot of people there to, you know, to talk to and, and to communicate with and get help and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So great community for Magic Cycle uh, members. Again, my name is Nelson with the E-Rider channel. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out other videos, future videos with other upgrades and uh, accessories for the Magic Cycle Cruiser.